What's good YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rottweilers. Today I'm going to be unboxing our new incubator, uh, something that every reader should have. And also I'm going to go over uh, why I actually stopped using uh, Victor dog food and show you guys what I am using now for my kibble. Since we do um, a half kibble, half raw diet, I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Well, you're looking to the video. First thing I want to do is explain why we actually stopped using Victor Kibble. That's what we actually used in the first video we did that was uh, based on uh, what we feed our raw wallets here. Um, but the reason we stopped using Victor is because I've noticed a lot of my dogs start getting a lot of you know black junk in their ears, uh, their coat got a little wacky. And that was the only thing that we changed. We didn't change anything else. Everything else as far as the diet plan uh, stayed the same, except the kibble. Originally we were feeding Origin, but obviously once we continue to grow, um, I decided to switch up the dog food um, for something that's more uh, economical because uh, with Origin, I was almost putting $100 a bag and that bag was only $25. Now we got five dogs here. Um, I definitely don't want to be spending a hundred bucks for 25 pounds when these dogs easily go through a 50 pound bag, maybe a bag and a half a week. So definitely didn't want to uh, be paying that high price. Uh, but we did switch over to Natrina Loyal Life. Um, it's all life stages. It's a great kibble as so far. Um, I will be doing a video on uh, how we actually like it after let's give it about a month or a couple more weeks because we just recently switched on to it. Uh, my good buddy Mike over there, Autumn Rottweilers. Um, where I got our puppy Zena from in Michigan. Uh, this is what he fed all his dogs. Everybody did great on it. So I decided, you know what, I might as well give it a try. Something new, something different. Um, but yeah, so we use Loyal Life here for all our It is now time to unbox the incubator. Super excited about this. Let's see a few other guys ordered the same incubator. And they seem to love it, so. Definitely want to get my hands on a good quality incubator. I will post uh, information on where I got it from. It is a guy on uh, Facebook who makes them. I don't know his kennel name or his business name, but I will send a screenshot of his information. Sweet. Kept it extra protected. Ceram wrap. This is what it looks like from the outside. Proctor House logo on the front. Got it on the top also. Love the design of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually watch the video he sent me to set it up properly. And then I'll come back and we'll, I'll show you guys how it works. Now that we got it all set up, I can show you guys how cool this thing is. You can see, got the Prop the House Rottweilers logo. Turn the light on in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
you guys can see it's blue they had green before and then obviously the white see we got the humidifier in there going the fans above the temperature control this is the actual humidifier right here um what he had told me to do is the best thing to do is just to use water i mean water bottles uh unless you guys have a filtration system in your house like i do uh, i can use water directly from the sink which is pretty cool but see a black Proctor house rock water logo it's pretty cool um the top part is for temperature control uh right now i have it set at 88 that was what they sent it at um I'm, i am going to do my research and figure out what temperature i should keep it at uh just so it can regulate the puppy's body temperatures you know the first couple days the first few days they actually can't regulate their own temperature uh so i feel like personally incubator is mandatory gives them that extra um that extra help in the first couple days of birth it's also a cool place to take them away from their mom and the mama break uh where they can be temperature controlled uh like i said i will be putting the information on where i ordered this from in the video but yeah man i'm actually really really happy with this i think it's a pretty cool unit I think they made it out of a litter box it looks like but it's pretty sweet i think the only thing that i'm gonna have to adjust on here is this swinging door i'm not sure if there's like there probably could be some sticky i can put on here just to keep it so it actually stays closed whenever i want it to stay closed or it can open because right now it just swings but there might be something that they put in there that i haven't dug out the box yet um let me see what else also they sent me the mat that goes in there too. Let's put that in there. Just a little foam mat. The soft surface for the puppies. Looks like actual memory foam. Small little cutout. It's pretty cool. Open that up. Yeah, it's actual memory foam. Probably should take the top off. Oh yeah, it actually feels pretty warm in there too. That's pretty cool. Probably should take the top off, but I'm gonna just set it in here like this. I was thinking it was gonna go the other way, but I guess it does go this way. Let me try the other way. Let's see if it fits perfectly. Doing it this way. Like it'll work either way, but it fits better like this. Make sure it's all the way against the wall so puppies can't move, maneuver their way out of there. This is actually pretty cool. Pretty impressed. But yeah, that is actually the end of the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to like comment and subscribe follow us on instagram at private house rottweilers uh, and on facebook be sure to leave us a message comment if you guys have any questions uh feel free to reach out to us we out